Yo, 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 what it do, Croc Fizzle? Man, what's the dilly, yo, y'all? It feel like it's been like two months since the last time I seen y'all, man. Your boy had went to the Lone Star Rally. If you don't know what that good old Lone Star Rally is, it's one of the biggest motorcycle meets, you know what I'm saying, in North America. You hear me? Your boy had so much fun, man. I'm talking about, man, so much fun, yo. I'm talking about I'm super tired, man. We balled out. We partied out. Man, I ain't gonna cap with y'all, man. If you've never been to a big rally and seen tons of motorcycles, man, you gotta come out here next year. You know what I'm saying? Just me seeing all them bikes out there, I was just like thrown away with it. I was just like, man, what's going down? I I even said, man, next year I'm gonna have me a custom bike uh, just for the rally, man. I ended up getting the mail for these pretty babies right here, Friday, I was just like, man, I was so ready to get back to the house, man, so we can dial in. And cr Christmas time is coming up soon. You know your boy on the good list. Santa Elfston came through, dropped off that pack for your boy while I was gone. I had a good weekend. So, man, I think this is going to be a good review, man, because I haven't. Feel like I haven't talked to y'all in, de in decades, man. I got a lot of comments to reply back to. You know what I'm saying? A lot of uh, shorts and reviews and everything to make, but we gonna get to it, y'all, and we gonna start with that good old L pack. You dig me, man? Them good old Christmas joints. They in. You know what I'm saying? It's early, and you gotta have them on deck. That way, when December hit. You already ready. You know what I'm saying? What they say on the thir 13th day of Christmas, on the 15th day of Christmas, all that. Yes, sir. Re Bob. And these boys right here is a piece of work, man. They should have came through with a custom box for these right here. These boys right here is a piece of work, a work of art. And if you don't know, what we got in front of us right now, y'all? Let me stand up. Let me stand up. If you don't know what we got in front of us, man, we got them classic Elf Crocs. And they came through in a major way. I don't know why they didn't say like classic uh, fur lines or something like that. Because these most definitely, some furs, you know what I'm saying? They most definitely got the fur line all the way through and out. You know what I'm saying? Yes, that white is super delicate. But, man, for me, I'm only going to wear these one time a year. You know what I'm saying? I think I probably will put these on the night before Christmas or the day of Christmas. You know what I'm saying? But these some one time a year type deals. Yes, that white in there is super duper delicate. But, man, these boys right here is super detailed down to the 10. I ain't even talked about the hardest part on the shoe. Man, this belt buckle, y'all, that's... That's metal right there. You see how heavy? Look at watch how I drop. Yes, sir. You know plastic don't drop that that hard like that. Watch how I drop. Yes, sir. That is metal on that. They put the metal buckles on that. It is going down. And I didn't show y'all the gear, man. You know your boy. You know we have to make our own MC. You know what I'm saying? You know your boy a leader. You know what I'm saying? So I had to create something for me and the team, y'all, because we've been rolling and strolling. Know what I'm saying? We've been riding hard. We just like, man, let's come up with something. So you see right here on the front, it say you riding or hiding. I don't know if y'all can see this on the back. See that double R G on there? That double R G that stands for riders ride. Know what I'm saying? Basically, like man, we ride anytime, anywhere, any place you dig at any given time. You feel me? And that's how I was, um, the uh, two days uh, that I was at the rally. The rally was a four-day event, uh, but that's how I was two days. I was branded up, man. Y'all know me. I, I got my own um, clothing brand, and um, I was just like, why not make a, um, my own brand for the MC as well? So, you see me, man. Any one of y'all that uh, ride motorcycles in the fam, get with your boy for some of that gear. You know what I'm saying? We can have that riders ride gear all up and throughout. 
the globe, you feel me? But yeah, y'all see what's going down with that. But man, let's get back to what we came here for, which is these pretty mommies right here. And uh, these came off of the Croc site. These came off of the Croc site, and they ain't gonna lie, they're a pretty penny. I think these boys was like $74.99, uh, but I did put a coupon on these. I was able to get these uh, on the cutie pie, so that worked out real good. But they got them on the Croc site, and um, I think Disney dropped a Croc, uh, a Christmas Croc as well. So the Christmas Crocs are starting to circulate around. Of course, we got, uh, I don't know what my uh, other two pairs of Christmas Crocs, but of course, we got other Christmas Crocs as well. So, man, it is time to get into that Christmas uh, spirit. Y'all see what's going down. Y'all know what it is. And, man, I am just happy to uh, have these boys ahead of time, like I say, because no telling what time throughout the month uh, you want to rock these boys. And, like I say, for me, I think I'm going to just stick to uh, one time a year because that white up and uh, it's super duper delicate. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely, if you put these boys uh, on, you don't want to step out of them. You know what I'm saying? Unless you put them up because stepping in and out of them with some dirty socks. I can tell you most definitely it's going to do the work on these because, man, these boys' heads like that. They like that cocaine white. They like that cocaine white. I like how you can flip that up right there just in case if you wear, like, some uh, pajamas or some jeans or something. You could, co you could cover yourself right there. Just a little extra fur in it. You know what I'm saying? Because they could have had stitched that down, but I like how they didn't. They let that just stay uh, up like that. And, man, that buckle. That buckle is... Supreme, y'all. That buckle is on point. Them gibbets, I'm liking them gibbets. The gibbets is super unique. The elf, um, that's the elf from uh, that's the logo from the elf movie with uh, damn, what's my boy name that played Ricky Bobby and um, and he played a other lot of stuff like why well, I don't know his name right now. Anyways, y'all know what I'm talking about a uh, real big actor or whatever. We've been doing this for a while. Uh, my favorite movie from him is uh, Ricky Bobby. Uh, uh, Ricky, Talladega Nights, my bad. Talladega Nights, uh, he was acting as uh, Ricky Bobby, a uh, famous race car driver or whatever. But that's who they put on the uh, on that logo for the elf. Then you got your hugs on there, man. My favorite one is this uh, elf hat. I like how it got that 4D uh, vibe on there. And, man, just that green on the shoe, that green and that yellow with that yellow bottom. No, they have to come through with the lemon pepper on the bottom. But that forest, I say it's like a forest green, man. That forest green is is, is super clean. And let me, let me let y'all get a close-up on that just so y'all can see exactly what I'm talking about with that right there. That forest green is just like, it's like on a whole different level, most definitely. Put that flash on and look at that green. You see how green it is? It's like super duper rich. It's just like real flush, you know what I'm saying? And that green, especially in hand, when you got them in person, that green just like flourish on you. And it's a dark color green, but it's giving more vibrant uh, vibes in person. And it's like, oh my God, Santa, I know him. You got the elf hat. That elf hat is on some 40 type vibes. Look at that. You see how that sit off the shoe? Then, like I say, you got your boy. That's from the Elf movie. You know what I'm saying? I can tell. I can see the silhouette on it that that's him or whatever. Then you got, does someone need a hug? Look at that fur. That fur is just real furry. It's just real rich. It look like it's going to keep you warm. Man, look at that stitching on that, too. That stitch work is official. You see what's going down. The guts. The logo again in the guts and that stitching is just supreme. And you see it's all white inside. All white on the guts. I probably would have had probably went with the yellow uh guts or even a black uh the black fur on the just because man that longevity. Like I say, that white is real cocaine-ish. So you're going to have to most definitely take care of that. Like I say, for me, this is going to be some one-time-a-year things. That way I can at least get a good five-year span up out these boys. Then look at that buckle. Look. That's real metal right there, bro. They doing the thing. Real metal buckle on there that's on that patch. They didn't go with no extra holes on these. And you know the, you know the collab is official. You see how they went. 
custom custom elf on the buttons custom elf on the buttons these boys right here um they seem like they can go in sports mode but it's kind of more of a force so you can play them uh in sports mode you kind of kind of like push that strap down a little bit then you got them boys going to the back like talking about these boys right here is a pain. That hat. That hat. I want to know, like, who all getting into that Christmas uh spirit early. I think I told y'all this already before. For me, uh, Thanksgiving, my favorite holiday of the year. I just love Thanksgiving. It seemed like for me, um, what Christmas is to y'all, or for the ones that love Christmas, what Christmas is to y'all, that's what uh, Thanksgiving is to me. Just like as far as, it seemed like for me, I love it seems like I'm more giving for Thanksgiving than Christmas for some odd reason. Like, like I don't know what that is. It's just like Thanksgiving, it seems like uh, when the family get together, we all eating and all that. It just seems like I'm in a gifty mood. Like, somebody might ask me, man, for $100 right there, boom. It's just like I'm just really in a, in a gifty mood around Thanksgiving. I feel so cheery and I feel so uplifting and uh, just always in a good mood. And for some reason... It seems like around Christmas time, I just be like, I be over it. You know what I'm saying? I be ready to be uh done with it. You know what I'm saying? I get the kids what they need, the gifts they want, uh, blah, jay, whoop, whoop. And uh, I be done with it. You know what I'm saying? I be just uh so over Christmas. But I don't be uh walking around acting like no party pooper or nothing like that. I don't be trying to uh, mess it up for everybody else. But for me personally, it's just be like, okay, another day. So, um... I want to know, like, who all got these early? Because I know some of y'all love y'all Christmas or whatever. Y'all love getting gifted. So, man, if you own your Christmas tips super hard, you got to have these uh, right now. Especially before December hit. Because I feel like with these right here in particular, even though they had a, new, a steep little price tag on them, I feel like around December is when these going to become hard to get. I know a lot of y'all put them in the wish, uh, wish list, wish card or whatever, but... I don't think, man, these right here going to be waiting around uh, too long, especially around uh, December. Everybody going to be getting in that cheery mood. Everybody going to be getting ready. And uh, you're going to start seeing the sizes uh, disappear on these. So if you want these, man, I would recommend you to go ahead and get them now. Go and get them early. And, man, why not have them early before December? I ain't going to lie. These boys right here, they so fresh, so fly, man. I am ready. To get these boys on feet, man. Let's go and get these pretty babies on the feet. Come through with them good old elf joints on chill. And you see what's real, man. You know the deal. You feel me? We early with it, man. We coming through. Like I say, Santa Elfs then came through early with the pizzle and dropped that off up on me. You know what I'm saying? Had them waiting on your boy. And these boys right here is superb. You see the belt buckle on them. You know what's going down. You know what it is. Let's talk sizing for the ones that need to talk sizing. These right here are some classic fur lines. They fur insulated. Man, anytime you're dealing with fur on the inside, I always recommend to size up. Anytime you're dealing with it. Unless you already at a half size like myself. And you already, with most of your Crocs, you are already dealing with a quarter inch to a half an inch spacing. You love that? That's cool. Stay with your size. But if you one of them ones, you know what I'm saying, that's true pretty much on everything else, I would recommend you to size up with these. You know what I'm saying? Just because that fur on the inside, they insulate it. And like I tell a lot of people, that fur that they got that's insulated on the side, Sometimes it don't go as far as the shoe go. So your feet may touch the point in some regular classics. But with the fur lines, the fur kind of stop a little before that. So your feet kind of get clogged before the point. So that's another reason that I would tell people to size up. Just because you want that extra footing, man, I'm telling you. You don't want to have that snug space. And for me, like I said, I go true because I'm already a half size up on most of my Crocs, so I'm already getting that space. So with the furs, I just sacrificed that little extra space and end up with a, with a quarter in somewhere a little, uh, in between there or what have you. But 
That's the sizing on these, man. The move is to go up. If you true to your size, you know what that fur insulation going to do. You know you want to wear fluffy socks and all that for the winter. Go up a size, you know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. But man, look at them details on that. The details are superb. Look at that custom button. The buckles on that. The buckles is metal. You know what I'm saying? The buckles is metal. You can knock somebody across the head with that and knot them up. The buckles is official. The gibbets is removable. I know a lot of people always ask me about that, man. Is the, can the gibbets come off? Most of the adult size uh, Crocs, unless they using that gibbet to describe the shoe, most of the gibbets always come off. You can always tell when you just uh, spin them. If they can spin around, then they are uh, removable. So you got your removable uh, gibbets. You got the belt buckle on there, man. Look at that peanut, that yellow uh, on the bottom, man. That white fur on there, man. That is killing it. Your boy feeling it, man. You see it. Come back through with the buckles on sports mode. Hey, man, it's time to go to work. It's time to go deliver them presents, man. It's time to go do the work for Santa. You did. You see your boy in full F mode. Got the straps on the back with the buckles on. Beam. And that fur is just like real elegant. You know what I'm saying? That fur, I ain't gonna lie, that fur real delicate. I kind of want to take them off right now because I'm not even gonna be wearing them right now. That's how delicate that white fur is. You know what I'm saying? They went real, real high class putting that white fur on there. And I guess they're expecting for everybody to treat it as such. Just because, like I say, one little stain on there and you threw both. One little stain on that white fur, and you finish. So you got to most definitely uh, be delicate about that. And I like that little feature right there. Like for when I'm wearing like some pants or something, you could just cuff behind the jeans or something. That'll be dope. Man, these boys right here is a work of art. No cap. And for me, I think I'm going to go with a solid uh, 14 out of 10. Reason being, for that 14, really... I think what helped them push to that 14 was that fur and that buckle. That fur on the on, on the inside, just how it looks so elegant, looks so classy. And then that buckle on the back, you know what I'm saying? That buckle, that's a real buckle right there. If it had, if I had a belt, you know what I'm saying, and I could put it through there, it'll most definitely hold up as a real buckle. For sure, for sure. I like that. The detail work on that is stupid. And that's what pushed it to that next level, man. I just want to know, like, who all rocking with these boys with me? Like, who all on that elf tip? Who all ready for Christmas? Let me know what we're doing. Let me know what we thinking. You feel me? Once again, man, I want to know, like, who all came through with them good old classic elf claws, man? Another big Croc collab for the year. Classic claws taking the reins on another one. But, man, they added the fur with them this time. And they came through in a major way, like that green it's so hard on that man and then you got the cocaine in between and then you finishing it off with the lemon pepper stepper you feel me and these boys are just multifaceted they fly the gibbets on there is stupid i love that that 4d uh hat on that you see what's going on with that don't forget about the buckles the buckles was supreme the buckles was the biggest takeaway of them all you know what i'm saying they came through in a major way Christmas is right around the corner. They say, why not hit them right now? And they hit us right now. So, man, I want to know, like, who all got these boys with me? Like, who all tapped in with these boys? Let me know what we doing with these pretty babies right here. Them good old classical elf joints. You know what it is. Jip.